Hey, Lope Nation, it's time to get to know another new GCU basketball player. We are welcoming Sean Miller-Moore, who played last season at Oregon State and has basketball followers excited when they hear head coach Bryce Drew call his game electrifying. Sean, thanks for joining us. How's it feeling to be part of GCU, and why'd you choose the Lopes? Um, thanks for having me. Um, it feels great, honestly. Um, I'm just excited to, you know, get ready and to get on campus. Um, I just chose the Lopes because, like, coach, me and Coach Bryce got very close during the recruitment process. Um, he was the head coach that reached out to me the most. Um, when we spoke, he, he, he emphasized that he would allow me to play my game there. And all at the same time, I can get closer to God with a Christian school atmosphere. So just excited. How would you describe that game? Your, your offensive game seems so efficient, you know, in an era where so many guys are just looking to be volume scorers. You seem to, to know it well to shoot 68% from the field. Yeah, um, I just try to do whatever it takes to win. Like if my coach tells me to go out there and rebound, I'm willing to rebound. Um, I always try to take the smartest shot. And something that people don't know about me is that I actually, I actually like to pass the ball as well. Like, so all around, I just like winning, really. Anything to win, I'm, I'm willing to do. You went to a junior college first, Moberly, which is a really well-known uh, JUCO basketball program in Kirksville, Missouri. And you played with ASU's Alonzo Verge Jr. there. How was that good for your development to do that first? Um, it was honestly great. You know, when I first got there, it was tough. Um, you know, it was kind of hard for me to fit in. I was the only person from Canada there at the time as a freshman, you know. Canada's kind of known for being soft and nice all the time. So, you know, I just had to try and prove, my, prove them wrong. And then my second year around, me and Alonzo were like best friends. We still talk now every single day. So, like, me and him on the court were like, you know, we knew each other so well. Our chemistry was, like, amazing. So. It was, it was fun overall, you know, it made me who I am, so. Who at uh, GCU are you looking forward to playing with or living with or hanging with or whatever? Um, playing with probably um, Javon because I know he can pass very well. I know was, he's just going to, you know, throw it up at the rim when, when I'm running out for lobs and stuff like that, so him for sure. You love that transition game, filling the lanes on the wing? Yeah, because when, I, when I'm in shape and I'm – you know, rolling, I feel like I'm the fastest on the court. So I'm just ready to just run up and down and, you know, catch the ball at the rim. How much does that enhance what you do when you have a pass-first point guard that's a, a playmaker like Javon? A lot, because even when I was at um, Moberly, uh, Zoe averaged, I think, nine assists there uh, his sophomore season. And, like, you know, and it enhances my game a lot because when, you know, they find me in my spots and, it's kind of easier. It kind of opens it up for me to score easily. So. All right. Well, GCU can't wait to see some of those rim rockers you're about to bring to the arena. So welcome to Phoenix, and thanks for introducing yourself to Lopes Nation. Thank you.